A surge in COVID-19 cases, a concerning rise in hospitalizations, and now a state of emergency has been issued in Baltimore County. WMAR2 News Ray Strickland joins us live in Towson, where the county also announced an indoor mask mandate effective Wednesday. Ray. Yeah, Keno, the county executive says these measures will hopefully limit the spread of the virus and prevent hospitals from becoming too overwhelmed. Now, I did talk to a restaurant here in Towson about the decision. The restaurant told me it was a necessary one, but they also called it disappointing. We're not happy about it, but we're going to do whatever we need to do to, to follow the rules. That's Michael Fujiti's reaction to Baltimore County reinstating its indoor mask mandate. Fujiti is with Charles Village Pub in Towson. He believes the mandate could have a negative impact on business. We all had a vision that this was going to happen. Obviously, this is going to hurt some, some people going out to local businesses, visiting the restaurants. So from a business aspect, you know, we're a little uh, disappointed in it. However, Fujiti says he understands the need to address the surge of COVID-19 cases. He says the restaurant will now begin to focus on carry out, but he says they will also continue to be open for indoor dining. And we're going to do some family meals and kind of make things a little bit more easier for people. Baltimore County Executive Johnny Oshevsky announced the indoor mask mandate will take effect on Wednesday. Everyone ages five and older will need to wear one in indoor public spaces such as restaurants and places of worship. The county executive also declared a state of emergency due to rising COVID-19 case numbers and hospitalizations. This is a, this is a surge being driven um, in terms of our hospitals by the unvaccinated. But because our hospitals are so overwhelmed, uh, we've, we've found that this step is becoming necessary to ensure that we can get through this spike. It's our hope that this is a, a fierce but short one. I think people are pretty much over it, but we all know that like it's necessary. Olivia Morell says she agrees with the county's decision, but she says she thinks the county should have taken action sooner. My friends and I were talking about it. It's a little bit late, don't you think? Like, shouldn't you have done this like a couple weeks ago? And the county executive did say it was possible that these measures could have been announced sooner, but because of the cyber attack on the state health department, they didn't know the full scope of the spread. Now, the state of emergency is in effect until January 3rd, but the county council is expected to vote to extend it until January 31st. Live in Towson tonight, Ray Strickland, WMAR2 News.